Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortnite instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide. And we are creating an SD-WAN demo, just kind of a proof of concept. And uh, we're moving along to the fourth video. So uh, this one, I always say this, this one's gonna be short, all right? And uh, the reason why is because one of the best advantages of the SD-WAN solution that Fortinet offers is uh, making forwarding decisions based off of the quality of a link. Now, if you think about it, um, you know, this is not how traditional IP routing works, right? Usually there is a uh, destination IP address, there's a routing table, and uh, the routing engine looks at where it's going and then checks the routing table for the best match and then passes it along. Well, with the SD-WAN, not only can we, we uh, can point different directions down different WAN connections here based off of where it's going to, but more importantly though is where it's coming from and also the quality of the connection itself because you know things might be fine a couple of hops within our you know internet services autonomous system but what happens when you know it starts getting garbaged further down the line so um yeah so in this video it's going to be really simple we're just going to create the the boxes the vms needed to pretty much dial in junk traffic so we can we can actually demo the SD-WAN. Uh, so for this one, we're going to use these. Uh, they're free, they're open source, and it's in GNS3, and they're called net term boxes, all right? And these little net term boxes, okay, uh, have two interfaces, and then in and out, and then they also have a uh, little interface on them so you can dial in packet loss and latency and jitter and bandwidth constrictions and you know symmetrical versus asymmetrical bandwidth connections so it gives us the ability to pretty much trash <laughs> our connections um, you know and and actually see the SD win happen which will be our next video after that so um, I also use these to do like downed interfaces because it's really easy to to shut one of these off to simulate like you know an internet service provider losing full connectivity um, and so it's pretty slick so we have four connections so I'm actually gonna drag one of these bad boys out here okay and if you haven't done this before you know it's not too too bad you just go out here and you download this file here and import it in and you should have it okay and uh, because there is no configuration in other words it's just kind of like a, a layer two process of passing the traffic along you can actually clone this so what I'm gonna do here is that I'm just gonna say ISP right and also I suggest changing the symbol to, to look like a router. So that way it's like some kind of like a, it's some kind of like hop, right? So I'll just say, there we go. All right. And then I'm just gonna hit duplicate and then duplicate those. So now we have four of them. Okay, so, and the only place that you really got to be careful about is making sure that you're, you're, you're labeling it correctly. So when you do do your demo, you know exactly what internet service provider you're trashing. So for example here, if I just hover over this link, I know that it's plugged into port one on the FortiGate and onto Ethernet two of my, my WAN router there. All right, so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to say... Uh, WAN 1, right? Actually, I'll just keep it ISP. 1. Oops. ISP. The whole point here was I was going to say add the IP address subnet that it's connected to. All right? And then individually delete, add back on that port 1 popping it out to the port too. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it on and we're just gonna keep on doing that. So we'll hover over the next one, which says uh, HQ port two. So we'll hit delete, we'll grab one of these, 
we'll say ISP 10 200 4.0 slash 24 and we will plug it into one port two and plug it back into port three yeah after this guys it's just a tedious job of doing it all right so here we go now we have a port three so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna go ISB 10.200.5 slash 24 okay there we go And last but not least, that should be our port four. All right, two port five. So ISP. I don't know what I'm doing. ISP, <laughs> ISP, not IPS. Uh, 10.200.6.0 slash 24. All right. So, like I said, if you're going to do this for your, your thesis and you want to be able to demo this and actually have traffic like get trashed, and then you can see traffic changing direction based off of the quality, these are the boxes to do it. And uh, I'm just going to hit configure on here. They hardly take any resource whatsoever. All right. So, um, and then once they're up and running, you can go ahead and you can change the bandwidth if you want. That's probably not a big deal, but this is. See how we can add jitter? We can add delay. If we want to, we can actually drop a certain amount of packets. We can change the symmetric, right? Um, you got to admit, that's pretty darn cool. All right, guys? So anyways, that should be enough. I'm just going to do a double check here, though, and make sure I got my IP addresses right. Okay, <laughs> that, might, that might be good. So, oops, my caps are on. Here we go. And I'm just going to go down to my... Um, interfaces here so uh, network interfaces oh you know what we started at two didn't we see that's why I wanted to check it Ah, uh, all right. I'll fix that when I get done. Do you guys see what happened there? I thought six was a little bit too high. So I was off. But guys, these are just labels. So it's actually not a big deal. It was just for me to keep track of um, uh, what you call it, of what connections I'm actually trashing. So not a big deal. I'm glad I checked it, though. And by the way, I don't record these twice. <laughs> I just, I don't rehearse them at all. So sorry if they're pretty bad. I'm definitely not a YouTuber. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Something in me was like, what? Okay. So that should be ready to go. So in our next video, we're actually going to record the rules, okay, and make the health checks to make all this magic happen, all right? And then you can see the traffic getting redirected as it picks the different paths, okay? Uh, which is which is pretty slick. So um, anyway, so that is that there. Also, don't forget to come here and go to your um, revisions. And as you're making changes, right, Make sure that you are snapshotting these in case you have to roll back. We didn't do that in the last video. So I'm going to say uh, SD WAN configured with basic load balancing. All right.
so yeah all right guys that's about it so in the next video coming up here we are going to uh set some sd wan sla health checks and just write a basic rule that says always take the best path so okay i'll talk to you guys soon